Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of uh, Let's Play God of War. Now, the last part we're left off right here. Now, this this is gonna be a difficult area, uh, in the sense that... Well, I basically just have to kill all these guys in a certain amount of time. Otherwise, the floor will open and, uh, well, uh, I die. Now, I've... I think I've done this uh, once before. Uh, and this, this, this can be hard. This can be a hard part, uh, for the most part, because like the sirens will respawn a lot. And one major tip that I can give you right now is, if you come to this part, come with a full energy bar thingy, because otherwise this is going to be extra difficult, and uh, you'll just end up dying a lot. Uh, so yeah, see if I can get this last siren before I die. And uh, I guess that's it. Now, as you can see, I made this look easy, but I've, I think I've done this. Okay, then that, there's, there's the handle. Uh, but I think I've done this, uh, five, uh, I think five times now, five or six times. I've died here like that many times uh, because I didn't have a, a full uh, energy bar, and you know it was harder for me. So uh, even though it might look easier right now, you, you trust me. Uh, yeah, I've done this a few times. Now if I uh, go down here, we got the handlebar thingy that we can uh, put on the other one. And yes, I will save here for the love of God. Let me save the game. Uh, because I don't want to do that again. That was way too freaking hard and complicated and just... Um, yeah, I don't want to do that again. Alright, so let us move on to the, where we were before. Uh, where we have to put that... Well, we now have a missing part that we didn't before. And yeah, it's going to be harder to go uh, forwards than backwards because this is against you. And as you can see, it's kicking my ass. And there's also a pattern, apparently. By jumping, I think it's it's helping me go forward, though, so that's that's cool. And, uh, yeah. Oh, crap. Alright, so I've done it. Only got hit, like, three or four times. That wasn't too bad. I think I got hit more times. Um, right, so here we are on this uh, pathway again. And, uh, I don't care if I get hit now because I'm gonna uh, get my health back. I definitely need it. Alright, well, let's go through this door again like we have before. Slowly. It's like a bottomless pit right there. Alright, so that's done. Let's open this door and uh, move on, I suppose. Did I just hurt an... Oh yeah, there's enemies here now. So apparently I got everything that I needed. And I have to fight them off and... Uh, get that crank there and crank that crap up. Oh crap, there's an enemy. There's two of them, actually. And I don't have my rage power thingy. And no, you're not gonna get me with that one. Not today. Let me just get the swords. I don't use it often enough. It's a good sword. It will be, I think necessary for later levels at least and uh well i tried to well decapitated him that was cool guess if you have the swords like the grabbing thing gets different than you normally would if you had the blaze of chaos so i'm um, kicking his ass that's good he's defending wow he can defend as well ouch all right let me just kick his ugly ass Um, so that's it. Just have to decapitate him. There we go. And get all these uh, superpowers. Now let's change back to the Blaze of Chaos. I would still prefer. Right, it's an ancient statue of Atlas, the something shaded Titan forever cursed to hold the earth above his head. All right. Uh, okay, already seen that. All right, put the handle in there. Now uh, he's gonna raise the uh, the giant boulder, and then I have to climb up and uh, basically make him throw the boulder out. Simple enough. Well, I don't know. It would be simpler if I didn't have to get this crank thingy. So okay, that's it. All right, let me go up. I think it's through here, so I can have that door open and move on with the game, basically. Oh, cool. Great, so now I have two of oh, these guys. Three, actually. On my ass. 
And let me just spin around a little bit. Oh, four now. Oh, great, the party gets better. Right, ouch. Alright, so... Let's see, one is down. Are they all down? No, there's still... Still more here. Let me just switch up weapons. Just so it's not the same boring blades. Get this sword. Also, let me... Okay, so I have kinda have... Yeah, I'm halfway uh, to upgrading this sword. Kinda. I just need like 2,000 more. So that's that's not too bad, I suppose. Right, oh yeah. Now, I knew there's one guy there that just couldn't... Ah, here he is. There we go. Don't use that... Oh, are you kidding me? More archer guys and stuff. Okay, so I have to go here. And, uh, yeah, I have to go there. Oh, I'm just gonna kill these archer guys. Okay, well, one is down. Hopefully they won't respawn again. Because they usually do, but um, I don't know. Alright. So they are dead. And let's put the boulder running. So it destroys the door. Right. There we go. I was gonna say, wow, that... That did something. Alright, there we go. That's how you open a door, uh, God of War style. And uh, there's another path open that we have to go somewhere, someplace, somehow. Alright, so let's jump off here and let us move on with the game. Now, is there, uh, is there any boxes? Oh, yeah, there's red orbs here, which are always welcome. Always good to have rare orbs, nothing there, unfortunately. Let's continue on. I could use some health, but I think I can do without. Let's read this. My youngest son will uh, laugh no more death in the service of his father. Death, the service of the gods, the building of this temple has uh, claimed his life. May you be lucky through, uh, enough that it not clashes yours. Yeah, it's the chief architect. Right, so you basically just have to open up his... Well, not his grave, but open up his coffin. Like that, and uh, rip off his head. Uh, sounds gruesome? Yeah, it is gruesome, but you're gonna need his head for later puzzles in the game. There you go. You have acquired the architect's son's head. And uh, as soon as you take a rip off his head, there's gonna be this little new path open. Let me just jump down and have to. Yes, here's health. There you go. I didn't need it desperately, but. Um, yeah, I kind of needed it enough, so thank God for that. Right, let me just uh, move on. What's up these steps? Well, only God knows. Let's find out, I suppose. Uh, right, so this is this so far not much as going on. So that's not too bad, I suppose. Let us roll. Whoa! This kind of reminds me of a scene on Metal Gear Solid 1. Where he sees all the guys dead because that ninja dude killed him. Alright, so this is some history, I'll let you guys listen. And at once, Kratos knew who was responsible. For this was not the first time he'd seen the ruined Ares, and his minions had left in their wake. Kratos had experienced it firsthand, years before. The youngest and boldest captain in the Spartan army, Kratos inspired fierce loyalty in his men. It had always been enough to carry them through any battle, until this death. The barbarians to the east numbered in the thousands and descended on the Spartans without mercy. The battle lasted mere hours. The discipline and training of the Spartans did little to stem the tide of the merciless barbarians. The soldiers faced a massacre, while their young captain faced the end of his brilliant career and his life. But to Kratos, victory was worth any price, even his soul. Ares! Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours.
that desperate call for aid will come to haunt Kratos for all his days. By the gods, what have I become? So, uh, there we go. There's a little history lesson for you guys. So you, you know a little bit more about the character and uh, what happened to him. And let's open this door and see what's uh, on the other side, I suppose. Oh, so remember that room? Well, uh, there we go. There we are on that room again. The Ring of Pandora. And uh, I'm gonna save here. And I guess this is where I say goodbye for now. Um, I, it's only been 10 minutes though. But um, yeah, this episode is gonna be a little bit shorter than usual, I suppose. Right, so until next episode, uh, this is the All Gaming Vlog, peace out.